Hi Sean and Sandy, it's just me, Celebrant Lindy, and I'm just about to head up to Glencoe to find a lovely spot for your beautiful vow renewal ceremony next Saturday. So it's going to take me a couple hours to get there, but I thought I would try and stop off and just point out one or two nice parts of Scotland on the way up, because I know you won't get to see the whole of it while you're over on your trip. So safe travels from the US tonight and I can't wait to meet you both next Saturday. Okay, let's go to Glencoe. So here I am, my very first stop on the way up to Glencoe and uh, this is a very famous spot, mainly because A, it's got a rolling sausage van, but B, because it's got So now we're going to head up. I'm not going to go to the Roan Sausage Van because I've heard there's a lovely wee cafe opened at the King's House Hotel, which is just along as we head into the Glencoe Valley. So we're going to go. I'm going to head along there now. So this is one of the areas that I wanted to have a look at. This is us going down into Glen Ayton. So we've just turned off the main road at the Bucolet of Moor and we're driving down into this glen and it's really, there's the Bucol there. And it's really beautiful glen so I'm going to go down. It goes down for about three miles I think and um, there's a big lock at the end of it I believe. I've never been down this road but let's go and have a look because this is really lovely. So I'm now in the car park at the sort of end of the road really and we're right by the lock so I thought we'd go for a, just go for a wee walk and see if we think it would be a nice spot for hand fasting. So there's a nice spot over there. There's people camping there at the minute, but it's actually quite nice. So it's nice here because it's so peaceful, but you also have the water running around you and you have the mountains all around you. So let's go across here. So this is actually really quite lovely. So as you can see, over here we have all the mountains. And in the background. So this would actually be a really lovely spot for a hand fasting. Particularly because this wee bit where the tents are is a circle. And we want to be in a circle when we do the actual hand fasting. So of course we'd be hoping there'd be no tents here, but... So 
So I think this might be a nice option because it's beautiful. Oh, under that, those trees, because those trees are making an archway, aren't they? Can you see there? The trees are, are making an arch. There's a big boulder there, but... So we could do it here. This would be a really nice spot. I'm so glad I come down here, actually. I've never been before. It's quite far down from the main road. Um, but that's absolutely fine. But it's so peaceful and it's so beautiful. And if we get a day like this next week, it will be just so lovely. So, that's Glen Etive and Loch Etive. I'm now going to go back up to Glencoe Valley itself because there's another wee spot that I just want to look at. But this would certainly be a beautiful option for me, I think. Okay.